In this video, I'll show you how to build a dynamic card, which is basically a simple representation of a certain value in your data. And you can put this visual on a full dashboard. So if you want to see me turn this visual into this one over here, then make sure to watch all the way to end because I'll be walking you through the whole process step by step. I want to keep this video concise, so I'll just be analyzing a pretty small data set on the grades of all the students at some college. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. The first step is to prepare all the numbers for the visual. So over here next to the data, type in average GPA, and then below that type in total, and type in percentage and remainder. You'll see why I'm doing this just in a sec. For this video, I'm just going to be looking at the GPA column. But if you want, you could look at the other column. The process that I'm going to show you is pretty much the same. Next to the average GPA cell, type in a formula by saying equals and then use the average function. And select the second cell in the GPA column and do control shift down. That's going to select all the values in that column. Then do enter. And this number over here represents the average GPA for this data set. And up at the top in the ribbon, I'm going to click on this button over here until it only shows two decimal places because I think it looks cleaner that way. Then next to the total cell, just type in four because the GPA is based on a 4.0 scale. Now you got to convert the average GPA into a percentage out of the total to display on the donut chart. And this donut chart is going to be our visual representation of the card. So next to the percentage cell, you have to type in equals and then click on the cell with 3.59 in it, do the division sign, click on the four, do enter, that's gonna get your percentage. To get your remainder now, do equals one minus the cell that you just got and click enter. And it's a really long decimal right now, so I'm gonna highlight the two numbers and then up at the ribbon, click on the percentage sign. That's gonna convert it to a percentage. And I wanna show the percentage up to two decimal places. So click on the increase decimal button twice. All right, we prepared all the numbers. Now we need to move on to the next step, which is to create the non-style visual. So we're just going to create the card and we don't have to worry about how pretty it looks. We're going to worry about that later. First, highlight these two numbers, then go up to the insert ribbon and click on the chart that looks like a pie. It's going to show you a menu and then click on the chart next to donut because we're going to be using a donut chart for a visual representation. Keep in mind that the type of chart that you put on the card it's going to depend on the context. It doesn't always have to be a donut chart. So let's say you have like a data set on business sales, then maybe you'd put a line chart on the card instead of a donut chart. It just really depends on the scenario. Anyways, after you got your basic donut chart, make sure to toggle off the title and the legend. So do that, go up here where it says the plus sign and then deselect the option of the chart title and the legend. And that's only showing the donut. And now we're going to add text on the card that quickly summarizes our data. So here's how to do it. Go to the insert ribbon and then click on text box and then click anywhere inside the screen and then click on the formula bar and type in equals and then click on the cell that has the average GPA in it. This is going to make the text box dynamic. So if I click enter, you can see the average GPA, which is 3.59. But the cool thing is that this text box is reference to this cell over here. So if I change whatever numbers in here to like whatever number, then this text box is automatically going to change and so is the chart. But I'm going to change it back to normal and I'm going to increase the font size of this number to make it stand out more. And you can create another text box. So if you go to insert ribbon again, click on text box, click anywhere on the screen, then type in average GPA. And make sure that this font is smaller than the number because you want the number to stand out more. Okay, now it's just a matter of moving all of these text boxes into the chart to make it look more visually appealing. Okay, here comes the fun part. We're going to style this card into this one. So if you want to see how to do that, make sure to keep watching. First, I'm going to change the colors on the donut because they look pretty ugly. So keep clicking on the blue bar until it's selected and then go to the format ribbon and then click on the button where it says shape fill. This is going to give you a menu of all the colors. And I'm just going to go with this dark blue color over here. Then click on the other color, go to the shape fill. And then I'm going to go with this gray color over here. Now we're going to change the font of the text boxes because in my opinion, I don't think that the default Calibri font looks good. So for the number, I'm going to highlight it and then go to the where you could change the font and choose the Arial Rounded MT Bold font. 
I think that it looks really good in this card and just adjust it a bit so that it fits inside the donut. And now for the other text, highlight that, go to where you can change the font, and I'm gonna use a font called Arial Nova. You could choose whatever font you want. This is just personal preference at this point. All right, we're almost done. We only need to round the edges of the donut. Make sure to have the blue bar selected. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see a pane. And over here in the border section, you can change the color. So I'm gonna click on that and make sure to have the border color the exact same as the bar color. So it was this color over here. Now you gotta do the exact same thing, but for the gray bar now. So select that, make sure you're in the border section of this whole pane and then change the color by clicking on the button and then choosing this gray color over here. If you've done that, then you can see that the edges still aren't rounded. So there's one more thing we have to do. Select the blue bar again and over in the border section, change the border width by putting in 12. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for the gray bar now, so select that and then go to the border width, change that to something smaller. So I'm gonna say nine. And you can see that that made the bars a lot thicker. So to make this a bit more clean, go to this button over here, which looks like a bar chart. And over here, you could change the donut hole size. I'm gonna change it all the way to 90%. So it makes it have a lot more space in the center now. As a finishing touch, I'm gonna add a shadow to the chart to make it really stand out. So for the blue bar, you can click on that and then click on the button that looks like a polygon and you can add a shadow in this section. So you could increase the size. I'm going to increase it to 100% for the blue bar. And now for the gray bar, make sure to select on that and then increase the size to around 94%. So a bit smaller. And now we got a really solid looking card. All right, now that you made your own dashboard card, you can apply the same skills that you got from this video into other cards for different data sets. And I encourage you to play around in your free time because that way you'll get better. Okay, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you want to see me make more useful Excel tips, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Stay up to date with my content. And if you haven't clicked away yet, then you might like this video over here, which is going to show you how to create a dynamic data bar in Excel. So I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.